Hey guys, what's up? Fansky here. I've been dealing with this uh, 2005 Chevy Tahoe Z71 with a 5.3 engine. Um, two days ago, driving down the road on my way to pick up my fiance from work, and engine just completely cut out on me. Like, for no reason. I don't know what I did to it, but it got angry, cut out on me. All day yesterday, took out the alternator. I took out the battery. I even went under the truck and took out the starter. Took it to uh, Pep Boys, had them test all of it. The only thing that came back bad was the battery. So I bought a new battery. This is a brand new battery, purchased from them. That was $119. Oh, by the way, the tow from where I was at to my house was $143. So right now I'm in the hole roughly about $260. So still couldn't figure out what the issue was. To put the key in the ignition, turn it. All I hear is a click. Click, click, click. Not like if the starter was trying to engage or anything. It just was clicking, clicking, clicking. So... Go on YouTube, watch a bunch of videos, some helpful, some weren't. <clears throat> Seen a bunch of guys do kind of crazy wiring hookups and stuff like that. I didn't want to bother with it. So I called Pet Boys this morning and had them actually tow my vehicle to Pet Boys. $25.00 to get it from here to there. It's right down the road. Tow it there this morning at around 9.30. I left there at about 4.30. So I was there all day. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Um, I bought an ignition switch from them. That was about $60. Um, to do an engine, di uh, uh, engine diagnostic, that was $80. And they changed the uh, the relay. They put in a new uh, starter relay. Didn't even need it. That was seventeen dollars. So that cost me. That whole bill total was about two hundred. So if you're following my math, roughly around four twenty, four thirty, and. Uh, in in uh in my bill already for for this truck and why the the engine just cut out on me. Get home. Well, no, I talked to one of the guys in parts, and he tells me that there is a wire located deep back in the firewall. I had the firewall back there somewhere. Let's see if I can zoom in. Right there. That little wire right there. And my, my fiance also told me about this. She looked it up as well. Now, when she told me, I couldn't find it. And he told me I couldn't find it either. But he also told me that he ran a ground wire, because he has the same vehicle as me. He ran a ground wire from that point right there to these wires right here. Right there. He took the, the ground wire, ran it from here to there, and his truck worked fine. I did it. My truck had the stability, I mean, the uh, engine reduced light on and all that stuff. But I still drove it home because I wanted to get it out, get it, you know, back to my house and from the shop. So when I got home, I pulled up a video from a gentleman. I forgot his name. But he actually had a video of where the wire actually was, the exact spot where it was. So I was able to lift all those wires and everything and see this one wire just dangling, not connected to anything. And I was like, motherfucker. So I took that wire, disconnected it from that connection because that was causing my engine to, to stall and everything. I thought it was gonna break down on, um, on the road on the way home. Tape that back up, make sure the connection was good and everything, and then used the same wire and just connected it to the to the ground that I already uh, uh, created 
cleaned it up and everything and it started up perfectly so this is the this is another video showing that GM Chevy has made a flawed ground connection in the back of the engine right here that's that wire that's the wire right there if your engine stalls at any moment at any point or if it just cuts out on you always check that wire right behind that harness right there because I guarantee you it's not connected to anything and then just take a little bit of take a little bit of the plastic off of it to expose more wire get a get a lead wire and just run it right to that ground right there it'll start just like new